In this video, I'll teach you how to reset any built-in view back to its original default settings. You know, you might be one of those project managers who's displayed the Gantt chart view, you've added extra columns, you've deleted columns, you've reformatted the Gantt chart screen on the right to look a particular way, and then one day you say to yourself, oh nuts, how do I get this back to the way it originally should look? Well, in this video, I'll show you a very simple method for resetting the Gantt chart view or any built-in view back to its original default settings. So let's get started. In this sample project, you can see I've applied a bunch of customization to the default Gantt chart view. For example, in the table on the left, I've removed the task mode column and instead inserted the percent complete column in its place. To the right of the duration column, I've also inserted the columns called work and cost. And to the right of the predecessors column, I've also inserted the successors column. Also, notice that I've changed the font formatting for every milestone task to be the red italics font style. I did that as automatic formatting of every milestone as a batch. Also on the right side in the Gantt chart screen, notice that I have displayed the critical path. You can see this as evidenced by the red and the blue Gantt bars. I've also displayed total slack for non-critical tasks. You can see this is evidenced by this dark blue underline to the right of some of the non-critical tasks. In addition, I've formatted the milestone symbols to be red diamonds instead of black diamonds. And instead of displaying the full resource names to the right of each Gantt bar, I'm displaying the resource initials instead. I can envision two scenarios where you might want to reset a customized Gantt chart view back to its original settings. In the first scenario, I want to reset the Gantt chart view as a whole back to its original settings. That means the original set of columns on the left and all of the customization in the Gantt chart screen on the right. To do that, click the Task tab to display the task ribbon. Then click the Gantt chart Pick List button. Near the bottom of the menu, choose the item Reset to Default. And in the confirmation dialog, click the Yes button. This action will completely reset the entire Gantt chart view back to its original version that is contained in the global.mpt file. That includes column widths and also the level of zoom applied in the Gantt chart screen on the right. So you can see that I've gone back to the level of zoom known as weeks over days. That's the first scenario. Let me close this project and now let me show you an exact duplicate copy of that first project. The second scenario is perhaps all you want to do is to display the original set of columns in the entry table on the left side of the Gantt chart view. So what I want to do is remove percent complete and have it put back in task mode, remove work and cost, and also remove successors. To do that, to reset only the table, click the View tab to display the View ribbon, and in the Data section, click the Tables Pick List button. Near the bottom of the menu, choose the item called Reset to Default. 
Microsoft Project will not warn you with a dialog as you saw previously. Instead, it will simply reset the table back to the original set of columns. Also, please notice that the custom font formatting for the milestone tasks was not reset. That's because it's part of the view customization itself. It's not part of the customization of the table. So there are two different methods for resetting a default view that you've heavily customized back to its original default settings. Now you know how to reset any built-in view back to its default settings. And it wasn't really that hard, was it? If you liked this video and found it helpful, I'd appreciate it if you'd share it with your friends and colleagues. As always, please consider liking, subscribing, clicking that notifications button as well. Also, if you have ideas for future videos you'd like me to create, please leave your ideas in the comment section below, and I will thoughtfully consider every idea you share with me. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.